Hey, Kid Gingas, Deva here with another exciting video. I wanted to cover this event specifically on a separate video because it deserves one. Our topic today is Wetfish Scales Plus and the new event quest that will allow you to get them more efficiently but give you as well a bunch of extra rewards and VIP full bloom tickets which are used to craft the new layered armor, amazing new flower pendants and other stuff. You may remember my deco farming quest video and this will be something similar again. The quest is called a fish to whet your appetite and you have to deliver two great wet fishes. The quest completion will give you the tickets to craft the new wet fish dual blades but as well extra wet fish scales and more items. I reviewed them and made the meta true crit element build for them on a separate video but that's not our topic now. If you want to check it out it's going to be linked down in the description. The Wetfish Plus scales are simply a blessing for any melee user. It does allow you to sharpen your weapon in only one cycle, which is instant sharpening, so no speed sharpening, no anything needed, just this Wetfish scale. This makes the use of protective polish so much better and easier. But that's not the best thing about them, you can keep using them, they only have a 10% change to be consumed which means 10 of those will last for an average of 100 sharpenings if not a lot more. The quest will give you an average of 5 wet free scales plus per 60 seconds. So ignoring the loading screen times, you are able to get 300 wet free scales plus, so it's like having 3000 of them, you basically can sh instant sharpen your weapon 3000 times in just a single hour of fishing. This is just insane how useful it is for melee users. For example, there are builds where you have to go only for tenets of purple and protective polish to maximize your damage or weapons that are capped at like 20 hits of purple and can go more. For example, the acid glavenous weapons can only take 10 hits. A really good combination with protective polish is item prolonger. The skill will extend the duration of protective polish by 50% which means now your weapon will not lose any sharpness for a whole 90 seconds. Sharpening before you approach the monster is the best thing you can do since at the beginning you have two flint shots and can go full out on damage without to lose any sharpness. You can of course still use master touch but this is something like ultra comfort for sharpness without to lose any time in a hunt especially if sharpening pre-fight or when a monster leaves the area. This will mostly make the life easier for any dual blade or elemental SAD player. Those two require a 4p set bonus through crit element or a 5p safi for elemental SAD which means you can't fit in master's touch and dropping those set skills will leave you without damage. So yeah, since Arctember Namiel and Kulvataroth are coming soon, I highly recommend to just farm this quest for to get those Wetfish Plus scales and all other amazing rewards. It's, it's also a great way to fill your botanist box really quickly since it does count as a full quest regardless how fast it is. And here is some tips on how to optimize your build for this quest but also getting a lot of extra rewards. First of all, you have to craft the Hunter's Life Charm. It will enable the skill Master Fisher and this will make it easier for you to catch large fishes and increasing the time window you have to reel uh, the fish up but I noticed as well that you don't have to press other than one button to pull them up instantly. There is also a skill at the canteen which of course appears randomly and it's called Feline Fisher. So just in case you have this be sure to eat for it. It makes fishes more likely to bite. Now to optimize your rewards at the end of the quest I recommend you to either use a full blossom armor which increases the chance to drop VIP full bloom tickets or use instead the Kirin 3 piece armor to get a higher chance for regular rewards at the end which can of course be also decorations, armor spheres or even more fish scales. In case you have some spare Dracolites left you can use Kirin part inside of a Safi weapon that you won't use so you will be able to fit in the 3 set blossom bonus but as well Kirin Lux to maximize your rewards. I will definitely keep that weapon also for future wins. However I want to warn you it's RNG to get Kirin's luck and for myself I spent 40 minutes of wasting Dracolites just to get this upgrade. So consider there is a chance that you will not get that upgrade. 
Also you have a chance to get VIP full bloom tickets anyway without the full blossom armor and will have more than you need at some point by just casually doing a went quest so it's up to you but I would really recommend just to prioritize the Kirin for more rewards. There is one last Eltecatin that maximizes your rewards and can be eaten always. It's a skill lucky cat and if you're short on watchers join an online session where someone always uses one. So finally we get to the most efficient route which is pretty simple. You just select camp 6 and fly to it to catch the first great wet fish. It's a shimmering fish with blue eyes. Then you have to fly back to camp 1 and run all the way to the left but you have to be careful because sometimes Bambaro walks past that spot and assassin's mantle will aggro him. The second wet fish is always at the back there. I have run this quest 50 times just to confirm the spawns are fixed. There is also a tiny chance where two great fishes spawn at uh, camp 6 so you will be able to literally complete the quest in like 10 to 15 seconds. If you enjoyed this be sure to leave a like and comment down below of what you want to see next from me. Also don't forget to subscribe for more awesome guides, builds and speedrun videos. With that said I wish you all a nice day and happy hunting guys.